Technidium versus Pi-hole versus AdGuard versus NextDNS is a comparison I can make because I've spent time running all four in different setups at home and on my network lab. My journey started with Pi-hole, which was the classic first step into DNS level ad blocking. I had it running on a Raspberry Pi and the setup was easy enough, plug in the device, point my network to it, and suddenly all those banner ads and trackers were gone across the house. Pi-hole is great for simplicity and it does its job well, but it felt a little bare bones as my needs grew. For example, it doesn't natively support DNS over HTTPS, so I had to stack another service upstream to get encrypted DNS. It's reliable, but I found myself wanting a bit more polish and flexibility. That's when I moved to AdGuard Home and it immediately felt more mature. It's like Pi-hole, but with extra features built in, including DNS over HTTPS and DNS over TLS without extra tinkering. I loved the fact that I could use it across multiple devices through Docker and VMs, and it gave me a cleaner interface for logs and filtering. AdGuard Home also felt better at integrating parental controls and handling complex ad lists without me babysitting the system. Running it on my Proxmox server and even testing it on Unraid was seamless, and I liked that it could act as a proper local DNS server for my VLANs while also talking securely to upstream DNS. Performance-wise, it never struggled, and it blocked a ridiculous amount of junk with almost no maintenance. NextDNS was my first cloud-only experience, and honestly, it blew me away from mobile and remote device usage. Unlike Pi-hole or AdGuard, which live on your local network, NextDNS follows me everywhere as long as my devices are configured or the app is installed. It gives me beautiful analytics, tons of customization with block lists and security filters, and it works whether I'm on Wi-Fi or cellular. I did notice that it adds a small layer of dependency on the internet because everything runs through their DNS, but for someone who wants consistent blocking on phones, tablets, and laptops without managing on-prem hardware, it's hard to beat. It also supports encrypted DNS by default and integrates well with both Windows and iOS devices. Technidium was the last I explored, and it's definitely for power users. It feels like running a mini enterprise-grade DNS resolver at home because it can do authoritative and recursive DNS, give you strong filtering, and even handle advanced configurations that Pi-hole and AdGuard don't touch. I set it up on a Windows Server VM, and while it leans on .NET, it's very capable. I found it super fast and reliable, and it gave me total control over how my DNS worked, including custom zones for my local lab. The trade-off is that it's less beginner-friendly, and it doesn't have that sleek plug-and-play feel that AdGuard or NextDNS offers. In my experience, Pi-hole is perfect for getting started, simple and effective on a Raspberry Pi. AdGuard Home is my go-to for a polished, local, feature-rich setup with built-in DNS encryption. NextDNS is unbeatable for roaming devices and low-maintenance, cloud-first blocking that follows me wherever I go. Technidium is the choice when I want enterprise-level control and speed on my home network, but it's not something I'd set up for my family unless they wanted me to manage it entirely. After cycling through all four, I find myself running AdGuard Home locally for my main network and keeping NextDNS on my laptops and phones, while Pi-hole and Technidium are more for experimentation and lab fun.